Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Oh I'll tell you what guys, this is a play on video, but of a game that I have loved over the years guys, really really loved it. Now this game was originally released in 1986 onto things like the C64, the Spectrum and so on and so on. And then it was also ported onto the Amiga guys. But they're not the versions we're going to look at, although they were brilliant already, guys. Oh, I should say the version we're going to look at. Um, it was then revamped and redone beautifully. Beautifully, guys, like perfection for the Gizmondo. Yeah, it was a launch title in 2005 for the Gizmondo. And oh my God, it's the best game on the flipping Gizmondo game, in my opinion. And there it is sitting there, but here's the proper cover for you. Bigger, shall we say. There we go. Trailblazer, guys. What a stunning title. Like I said, already on the C64 and Spectrum and what have you, it was brilliant. On the Amiga, it went up a notch. And then when it hit the Gizmondo, guys, oh my God, it was fantastic. What a flipping game. Oh, if it was worth owning a Gizmondo, guys, it was for that game. Beautiful, beautiful flipping game. But the version we're going to look at, guys, is a version that was released in 2011, guys. So, yeah, already flipping nearly 12 years ago. Oh, my word, where's the time go? Onto the PSP, onto the PS3, and onto the beta as well, guys. Obviously, with it being on the PSP, you could get it through the store. So, whoa. I tell you what, they took the Gizmundo version, really, and they downgraded the graphics and what have you. But it is still a flipping stellar game, guys. It might not be as eye-popping as the Gizmundo version. That literally did take it up a notch, guys. But this is a fantastic version of this game. Yeah, I still prefer playing the Gizmundo version, but this, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful as well. So yes, guys, <laughs> no more to be said, really. Would you like to play one of my favourite games of all time? Trailblazer. Well, on the PSP, guys. As we jump back to 2011. For this absolutely stunning title, guys. Oh, right. Hold on to your britches, because you're going to need to. Because this is beautiful. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with this absolute doozy. Remember Jane from the, yeah, the Gizmundo, guys? And, of course, way back on the Amiga. Same music from the Gizmundo, guys, which is brilliant. It is a trail blade, Right, let's just play this game. Yeah, okay. Easy, of course. You have all the wall with me. Excellent. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Right, there we go. Continue. Continue. I'm playing it on the easy guys. I'm more used to the Gizmondo version, of course. In fact, 
Yeah, I'm slightly different now. You've got to avoid those red panels there, they slow you down. It's possible, sometimes it's just plain impossible to do. Weak sod, there we go. Oh, see when you get stuck there. It's all about the speed, I'm not getting the speed, look at this. Oh well. This is insane, all this glory. New record, are you kidding me? Okay then. Such a simple game then. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Especially with the pigment though. It looks more a uh, suit touch, shall we say. Right, there we go. To avoid that snow as well. Look at this. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> You've got no choice there, guys. Oh, I didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> you need to get the power up, guys, to do it. Oh, I'm just going to keep tapping. Terrible. I'm like, how we're going to tackle this one. Eh? Not like that one, not that for sure. Damn. Oh, out of time. At least you're getting to see it all unfold, guys. That was terrible. Yeah, I like them. Come on, let's get on that. Let's try again. Right, here we go. Here's the screen. Again. Right, here we go. See if I can beat my own record, that would be good, wouldn't it? I mean, don't think I will, though. Yeah, I'm not a look at it, I'm not. <laughs> I'd be lucky to get the blood in the same. Oh, it's just there. Oh, yes, I did beat my own record. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. Let's try again. And this one, you know. Bump. Heel. Right. Okay, let's see how we can get on here then. This time. Can we get a bit faster? Oh, not falling down the bloody hole I want. Oh, it's that, isn't it? It's that gets me every time, guys. I've got to keep that momentum up to jump. Oh no, it's not that one, is it? It's the next one where you jump, you fool. Got a new record on that one, cool. Right. Come on then. Give it to me, come on. Oh, I think how, oh, how well I play the Gizmundo version. But it just throws me because I play that more. And the tracks are slightly laid out differently in this one. They're not exactly like the Gizmundo version, you know, that really does throw you on that Oh, stopping there, that's going to make me not be able to jump over them. I need to build up my momentum first to get over there, see. So. Oh, I'm not going to do it now, am I? Oh, just short, guys, just short. Looking nowhere, nowhere I'm getting back. <sighs> no. What a sound. Oh, nearly had it, nearly. No, I just can't make it guys, I haven't quite got the power there either. I'm saying I'm running out of time. What a sword. Well, we're going to have to give it another go. <laughs> Look 
just gonna rub it in and put this in. Rub it in while I don't want you to go on. So try a tiny part, let's go for that. Leave it in the fall seat. Let's see how we get on this time. So the barcade. Let's change it up a bit and go the other way. There we go. Not changing it that much, mind, but a little bit. Oh, you better. You've got me. You've stopped me from eating my skull now, you sod. Have you? No, you've got again. Cool. Mind you, I agree because I'm playing time trial. Alright, cool. Mm, no. Oh, no, that's all. Oh, I must have said yes by accident. Oh, well. Maybe I'll beat my own score just for a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Falling straight down the bloody hole. I think this is a washout, isn't it? We've got to watch out for that as well, the pitfalls guys as well, <laughs> falling down here. You are getting to see it all, like I said. If you do want to pick this little gemma. Oh, nowhere near, look. Oh, did you see that? Nowhere near. That will continue. Next one, guys. Oh, no, it is just bits again. Okay, well, let's see if I can beat it. And that will, will continue like this, then that's fine. Let's see if I can do it. Bring this one instead, wee! So I'm doing all right in the moment. Can you let me keep that going? Yes, I think I beat it. Yes, I did. Wicked, I beat it. That is damn cool. What a fantastic game. But we want to move on, don't we, to the next one. Yes, we do. Ah, uh, because I'm sure we're playing now, we Try track, no! You don't want to be try track. What are you going to do then, eh? What are you going to do? Right, so we'll go for that one. Right, here we go. See, the menu is slightly different as well to the original version. And the original. Oh, I won't do that with some quick course. Well, hey, that is an idea, that. Yeah, new record. Thank you. Alright, let's do one more, shall we? Mm, go for that one, let's just do the other. Yeah, of course, on the side of the uh, vehicle itself, like the wheel, if you feel like, the tyre. Um, it's got 1986 written there from the original game, of course. Or 364 and what have you. And these are the C64, and all sorts of other things I've like had it. Of course, oh, look, I'm just getting absolutely in the pickle here. No way I'm going to do well here. Go for it! Yay! I'd, oh! I don't believe it. Would you believe that, guys? I never did it. Oh, there we go. Oh! Couldn't quite make that one. Typical. I said, yes! Did it! Wicked. We left all the cost, but that was crap. Obviously. Mmm. Down there, we chance. Oh, crap. I think we need to play another one. Yeah, we do. Right, let's go for it. Oh, it's easy splits again. Right, so you only get the three on this point, and that's different to the uh, the uh, Gizmondo version. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and try and beat Twisted Brother again. I oh, did really crap, let's go see. Oh, 
looks fantastic. Although it's not as good looking as it is on the road, and it's still pretty damn stellar, I think. See if I can just get around all of this a bit easier this time. No, mm, not really. Maybe not quite as really bad. I'm trying to jump over this red area so I can get plenty of gas. Yeah, there we go, wicked. Oh, I must have beat it then. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And what a place to finish, guys. This video looking at Trailblazer Mini for the PSP. Absolutely stunning title still, although not as perfection as the Gizmondo version. It's certainly a hell of an upgrade from the C64 and the Mega version. Right, that's on my final thought. Wow, wow, what did you think of that, guys? Yeah, it might not be the superior Gizmondo version, but wow, what a blinding bloody version it is. It's stunning looking still, even though it is, you know, a little bit, yeah, not as good on the graphics as the Gizmondo version. What a fantastic game still. I love it where you got that 1986 written on the side of the, uh, of the, what do you call it, a ball, a wheel, a tyre, whatever. Yeah, fantastic. Um, even though they took it down a notch, guys, it still looks stunning. The music is still the same, guys, as the Gizmondo version, which was a treat, an absolute treat, guys. So... What did you think of that, guys? Have you ever played a version of Trailblazer? Have you played this version of Trailblazer? Have you played the very rare Gizmondo version of Trailblazer? Or have you played it on the SC64 Spectrum and all that, guys? Amiga version. Yeah, comment below, guys. What do you think of it? Or does this not float your boat at all? Just because I'm in love with the Gizmondo and I love Trailblazer on there. Yeah, you might not agree with me. Running on the PSP, PS3 and Vita, might you? Yeah, that's for sure. Well, there you go, guys. I think it's a treat. Wow, what a flipping title, guys. I and mean, that's why I love it so much. And, uh, yeah, I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, that's for sure. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> let me know what you think below. And with that, guys, we're going to move over to my giveaway again. Right, the giveaway, guys. I tell you what, I am four away from pulling the winner, guys. Four subscribers away from pulling the winner. So I'm doing it again, guys. I mean, four subscribers away from pulling the winner. Uh, and what do you win, guys? Well, you win a North American Evercade Portable, guys. That beautiful handheld by Blaze. As you can see, brand new, sealed Evercade Portable. North American version. But you can still play all the cartridges, guys, because they're not region locked. So wherever you are in the world, you can happily play the cartridges. So yeah, the only difference is it's got a slightly different box. It's missing a cartridge out of it because they couldn't get the license in for it in North America. So one cartridge is missing here in the UK, for instance, you get two. But to make up for that, guys, don't worry. I'll be giving you another cartridge. And that is also brand new and sealed, as you can see. There, fantastic. The Interplay Collection 1, guys. So what a doozy of a prize. There we are. Fantastic, fantastic prize, guys. And I tell you what, I'm hopefully going to be pulling this winner before Christmas, aren't I? We're just four to go now, guys. I'm surely going to. So it might make a fantastic present for somebody. If you've already got an Evercade, maybe you have somebody in your family that would like one, or uh, in your friend's circle. So whatever way, you could probably make use of this, guys, even if you have one already. Or you just like the variant box as a collector. Whatever, guys. Fantastic bloody machine and all you got to do guys to enter is make sure of two rules one is that you're subscribed to my channel of course and uh you need to go to the video link below my giveaway video the original giveaway video you comment on there guys because that is how you uh, enter the competition so you can say hello or whatever you want guys but you must do it on that video and, uh, of course, guys, only one comment per person. Now, if there's multiple people living in your house and they've all got an account, that's fine. They can all comment. But, yeah, one comment per person. We do check this, guys, that you are subbed and that you make one comment. Anybody who breaks the rules will be 
taken off the comment, of course, and it will not be entered anymore. But yeah, I'm hoping, guys, very, very soon, me and Josh will pull the winner. Once we reach that 1,000 subs, guys, we will pull the winner with a random comment generator. So then we'll obviously film it, and you can all find out who the lucky guy or gal will be. Doesn't matter where you are in the world either, guys. We will get the prize to you, even if you're, you know, out of Mongolia. I will still get it to you. Yeah, so that is that, guys. That was the giveaway. Oh, what a doozy, guys. I can't thank you all enough again. Four away, guys. Four away. This is just fantastic. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And I, it, applause to you guys for being so bloody loyal. Oh, brilliant. Now, back to the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy, bummy thumbs up. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, do you like retro games? Do you want to preserve those retro games for future generations to enjoy? Because there's a fantastic way of doing that. That is through emulation, whether it's handheld or plug-in swing into your TV. Whatever you may love, emulation is the way forward. And I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook, guys, that me and my best friend Nate set up some time ago. It's the Retro Emulation Fan Group. We now have a fantastic admin team, an ever-growing member base, guys, of about 440. Oh, it's just a fantastic place to come and have a banter, if nothing else, guys. But there's also tons of videos, system reviews, tech help videos, emulation performance videos, guys, and a lot, lot more for you to enjoy. So yeah, if you just love emulation, go below, follow the link, and come and join the fun. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything from retro to modern gaming, pong machines to PS5s, and everything in between. Again, tons of videos, guys, for you to watch, because other YouTubers put their videos up there all the time. And again, guys, ever-growing member base with lots of people you can have a banter with, and tons and tons of news, reviews, and God knows what else on there, guys. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So if you just love gaming, head below. Again, follow the link, guys. Ask to join, and I'll accept you in no time. And then finally, guys, I have a Patreon. Again, guys, a video there for you to watch. It is linked below. Head over to Patreon. And, uh, yeah, give it a watch, guys. And then, uh, you know, it explains why I decided to set it up in the first place. And then you can see if you want to join me on your, on my, on yours, on my Patreon journey, guys. And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. So, Vida Zane, tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Mm -hmm.